Subtract the fractions 3 fourths minus 1 fifth. So the first step in a problem like this is to find what's called a common denominator. To do that, what you can do is you just multiply the denominators. So you multiply the 4 times the 5, and that gives you 20. Okay, so the bottom is 20. So that's going to be our denominator. So now what you do is you go to each fraction and you multiply by what's missing. So what do you need here uh, with the 4 to get a 20? Well, you need a 5. So you multiply by 5 over 5, just like that. You see, because now when you multiply, 5 times 4 is 20. And then you do the same thing over here. What are you missing to get a 20? Well, you're missing a 4. So 4 over 4. So okay, so now what you do is you just multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. And so now that the denominators, denominators are the same, now it's when you can subtract. That's the only time you can add and subtract fractions. It's when the bottoms are the same. So 15 minus 4 is going to give us 11. So we have 11 over 20, and that would be the final answer.